Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hi Scorpios, this is going to be for May 2019. And this is a reminder, this is general. This is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? This could be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This can also be for the Scorpio Cross Watcher, okay? Take it as it resonates. Let's go ahead and get started. Scorpio, May 2019. Oh, two cards immediately. Three of Swords with the Ace of Wands. Something has to end for something to begin. Three of Swords, heartbreak. Somebody's sorry. Somebody's wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Someone caused somebody pain or something, and then they're saying, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Because, see, this Ace of Wands right here, Aces are brand new beginnings, right? They're blessings. But Aces can also signify, like, something, boom, new, right? So Ace of Wands, movement, something starting up. This could be a new relationship. But... This is what it feels like to me. Someone's extending out an olive branch. That's an olive branch. Someone's saying, I'm sorry. Either you sorry or they're sorry. I don't know who's sorry. Somebody's sorry. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for what I didn't do. Feels like somebody didn't stand up for something or somebody didn't speak up or somebody didn't so many different things it's it's like i didn't do what i was supposed to do. i didn't do enough i'm sorry offering an olive branch now this doesn't mean that this person's coming in because they want to get married now and want to be committed we don't know that yet and that's going to be different for everybody but this person does want to extend the olive branch out to say i'm sorry i fucked up i'm sorry i was a fuck face it's it's part of their karmic lesson to acknowledge that they fucked up and it's part of their lesson to speak up about it too otherwise i feel like it's gonna fester because you know if especially if you are the scorpio or you have scorpio in your chart and you pull that part of scorpio where it's like they just obsess over something over and over and over it just marinates and just gets deeper and worse and like it's it that's the thing it consumes them they become obsessed with it okay so we have here the king of swords this could be air aquarius gemini libra energy right but the king of swords is somebody who is very sure about something they are very clear about something i want to communicate and i'm very clear about what i want to say feels like if somebody comes into you or you to them however this is going to work in the scenario whoever wants to offer this olive branch they are sure about it because they've thought long and hard about it is what i feel it doesn't quite feel impulsive and matter of fact scorpios are not impulsive at all if they pull full scorpio they've been plotting okay they've been plotting this uh, they're always thinking about things, you know, they're always going over things in their head, right? So it's this energy of somebody who has been thinking this through. They've been in their head about it. I've been thinking this through. I'm sure I'm, I, they're, they're very decisive. Okay. They, they, they've thought it through. I'm sure that I fucked up. It's even like they even went over that in their head. Like, did I fuck up? Was it really me? Was it me? This is just righting some wrongs because this only means what, right? When we level up, it means that we're moving to the next level where the blessings are going to start coming in. It's more abundant. So it's this level up that's happening here with somebody. And, you know, queen of pentacles. This is earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's any sign. It's somebody who's holding a pentacle, which means they are holding on to this abundance, you know? Abundance coming in. Abundance is coming in, therefore I have to clear my plate. I have to balance the scales, or someone feels that way on their part. Someone's sorry. Someone is sorry. They're, they're, ooh. 
the regret. Someone regrets what they did, what they didn't do. Someone re regrets choosing someone over you. Someone re or you choosing someone over them if you're the one that this is for, right? It's going to be general. So you got to just flip the energy wherever that's going to, you know, be relevant. Now, this is going to be somebody I feel that could want to offer something. They may not, but they may, they might. Because the Ace of Wands is, I'm giving you this. This could also be somebody who is offering you a career opportunity. Or they may have passed you up the first round or the second round or whatever. And then hired someone else and, or went with someone else and realized, oh, it was a fucking disaster. It was a nightmare. It was a mistake. And then they realize, okay, we want to offer it to you. Okay, so... Either you're the Scorpio, either you're the one that needs to go and make these uh, amends because you are you fucked up and you you know there's this thing about needing to fix this to move on to the next level, or someone's doing this with you. Okay, take that as it resonates. Anyways, I wanna we're gonna continue this reading. I'm gonna do a whole new spread and see what the fuck this is about, as well as pull some oracle cards in the extended version. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's xi underscore missy underscore xi. And if you would like to book a reading with me, click on the description box below. All of my information is there. And also, if you... Actually, all my braces are sold out, so never mind. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon, okay? Love you.